And I think it comes down to environment too, what you put in your environment to help you do that. Because it, like you said, if you if you surround yourself with people that are always negative, that is going to rub off. And so it's, do, you need, do you need to change that environment? What do you need to support you? So for me, things I have, I like at the minute, I've got a ton of Stephen Covey, Covey books over there, five or six books, some tennis books. I've just showed Lee actually, the next book I'm going to read, Good to Great. I'm trying to surround and who's yourself that boy, that with one, things. Jay? It's by Jim Collins. I'm I'm really excited to read it. You know what I have learned from this and about gratitude is that if you want to if you want to be doing things like gratitude, you've got to surround yourself with doing it. So for me now, I just sometimes go into a zone where I do feel gratitude, but I do have a journal. Now I haven't written it all every day. In fact, I've probably been off it for about a week. Um, but I go to it; it's there, and I I fill it in when I feel the need to do it now. But I'm. I'm always thinking about what's next. You know, how can I be a bit better? And you talking about gratitude is how can you know that bringing that into my life. And actually, there's times when I'm, I'm making the bed and I'm thinking, I'm just thinking, I'm going to make the bed this bed possible. And then when I've made it, and I feel good and I'm grateful that I can do it. I'm grateful that I can, you know, have a nice cooked meal. I'm great. You know, I'm grateful I've got you guys here. You know, um, doing this podcast. I'm grateful that I found purpose. And all these things have now come much more naturally. And you're absolutely right that we do default to negativity much, much more. It's actually like it is, it is what we default to because of, like you said, the survival instinct, right? We've always had to look for dangers and it's survival. That's what it is. And we have to consciously look at that anxiety, which I think it's anxiety. For me, it was anxiety. And it's about how we are conscious of that and become just more aware you know how we are behaving and can we think and feel okay what am i actually thinking right now what am i actually feeling right now and if you're feeling in a really really difficult place the best thing to true to train yourself is in the hard moments Absolutely, so when lead to that yeah. training yeah it's when you said so to train yourself is when it's hard that's when you need to do it most yeah you know, because that's when you'll be tested so that's why you need like support tools like books like journals like things you can go to to use to help you through it anxiety is definitely one of them we, we naturally are negative i think andrew huberman talked about this and i think i referenced it in one of the podcasts we had before right where andrew huberman said to to practice gratitude he said if you think of something that happened in the past an experience and you can relive it and you are grateful for that like someone gave you a big good decent bit of feedback and you can go oh, i remember that i feel really gratitude in fact i've had some brilliant feedback from a group that i trained and i've still got the card and i've got a plant and i've i've basically got him downstairs and i use them as bookmarks it's a bookmark actually i'll go and i'll go and get it i've heard see you furiously on. looking around the room I'll for him, get, then. hang on hang on this is it this was it this was it i've got a thank you literally a card um i've got some I've got some shortbread, and I'll give a shout out to them. And I've got some lovely comments like, um, you know, uh, which one? Let's just think of one. Okay, thank you for all the support during and after training. You made it easy, so easy to settle back into, into insurance after long being out. So thank you. So things like that. And so I keep them. And I've got like um, a whole cupboard. And actually, it's in my Five Regrets of Dying book. I keep it as a bookmark. So I have all these little reminders of the things so when i'm not feeling great i can just look at them and say ah it's making an impact i you know I, I i am doing things that are good okay today may not be a good day but there are things that are happening that are good right and even today i was talking to lee about oh the growth has been a bit static and lee reminded me i was probably being a bit negative actually and lee reminded, <laughs> but that's not what we look at we look at the long term we don't look at the daily and mm. i was thinking oh it's a bit static we're not, not we've done this really massive growth daily and um it sort of dropped off a little bit we plateaued a little bit I was going, oh. and then Lee was going, yeah, but look at the long term. And we have really grown, which is fabulous. Massively. Um, so thank you to everybody on TikTok. Thank you to everyone on YouTube um, who's there. Um, I really appreciate you because, you know, the more likes we get. And also, if you're, you're watching on YouTube, please press that like button. Like, 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 because it gets the algorithm out. Also, like, same with um, TikTok. If you're watching and you're enjoying this, please like and share because that makes a big difference to the algorithm and gets more out there. So thank you. But that's, that's my take. There's so much. And so Andrew, then that's Andrew Huberman, so you can relive that. So I relived that. If I, when I actually relived that, I actually felt a little bit of an emotion. And they say that's, and he said that's actually, that's proven science that actually does make you feel better and actually improves how you feel and think about yourself. So that's science for you. Andrew Huberman, you can check him out on Instagram and on YouTube. A very scientific guy. Anyway, there you go.